Duh.
stage look, I guess. Stage slash camera makeup, I guess. Um, well, I guess except for the eyes, that's a bit much. <laughs> but I guess I always am. So, yeah. That is just about it. Very simple-ish look. Um, and yeah, that's it. So, as for, I guess, anyone who wants to try this at home, as for eye makeup, I mean, doing a look would, doing any look, I guess, would look good, you know, if you, if you execute it properly and stuff. Um, but it all depends on your eye color, so, um, just a simple tip is just use colors that contrast with your eye color, like, for example, I use red, but my eyes are green, and so it brings out the green, and so it's not just like, sometimes other colors will make my eyes look gray when they are totally crap green, <laughs> um, so, yeah, just use colors that look good with your eye color, brown is kind of a universal, looks pretty good with anything, maybe except for brown eyes, um, so if you want to do like a brown, um, ombre-ish look instead of the red, then that would be completely fine. If you don't want to add sparkly and you just want it to be, you know, just like a tan there, then, you know, that would be fine or anything. If you don't want eyeliner, you can ditch the eyeliner. So really just anything, you can substitute really anything out. Um, if you don't want to do the foundation, you just want to do the eye look, go for that. Um, adjust the foundation, you know, on camera, especially from a distance, you know, you have that nice clear glow look to you, and, um, and it just works really well with camera and, um, and stage. Um, and it doesn't have to be super fancy, especially since, well, it depends on how high quality the camera is, because <laughs> you can be very much exposed for that, but especially if you're on stage, where you have a camera that isn't for, like, I don't know, super high quality things, then you will be fine. Um, it doesn't have to be too extreme on the makeup look, you know, just make sure you don't go over white and you don't go over, you know, exaggerate everything, um, don't go too dark, don't go too light, just a nice soft contrast to add the color back into your face so that you don't look like a plastic doll, well I guess you still kind of do, and I did not include filling in eyebrows because I never fill in mine, um, maybe because I, it looks ridiculous because my eyebrows are already very much there. Um, if you want, I can do a tutorial on filling in eyebrows. I will glue down my eyebrows, put foundation over them, and I'll show you um, a couple techniques for redrawing them in and a couple techniques for just filling them in. If you just have a little spots here and there that you need to be filled in, then um, if you want, request and I'll do a video on that. Um, yeah, and I think that is it. So, a uh, little little notice here, I'll be doing about two to three videos a week just so I don't burn myself out and just so I have plenty of time to edit it, like speeding up these videos, oh dear god, <laughs> fun times, not really, um, especially doing videos that have sped up things, um, vlogs are probably going to be, if there are three videos in the week then there'll be a vlog in there, and I could do more depending on um, just, just what is going to be great. So... Someone just texted me. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then leave a, hit that like button. If you disliked it, then hit the dislike button. I'm not here to control you, and nor do I have the power to do so. So, yeah. Um, if you are new to the channel, then subscribe. Hit that subscribe button to join the awesomeness family. I welcome you with a snail five and an awkward handshake, because really, that's all I can do. And, uh, yeah. My name is Courage Duo. Snails all around. Feeling awesome to the channel. And, uh, yeah. I know I can. And, uh, yeah. Peace out.